Hello and welcome to ERPWebTutor.com. This is Ari Deep, and uh, we welcome you here for the very first uh, tutorial for our core HRMS setup lessons. This is mostly aimed at this particular setups are done by the HR analysts. So if you're trying to be an analyst, if you're trying to make a move to to become an HRMS uh, business analyst, this is the right material for you. This is going to help you understand what we do when we do the core HRMS setups. So uh, let's uh, we, we will cover in depth of all the setups that are necessary for uh, for making the core HRMS module work for the business. And uh, we will try to keep certain things simple. You know, in in a real life scenario, we can you can definitely have more twists to these setups. But we will once we know what we are doing in this section, you know, like there will be additional documents here and there. You know, just it's a it's a variety of of the simple things that you actually do in this in this section, and you can definitely. Uh, handle different scenarios once you, you are familiar with the basic process. So this uh, tutorial will be a long one. It's going to cover you the entire HRMS setups and it's from a blank instance so that you can actually uh, you know, learn the every small step that you need to perform to make the whole module work. So let's get started and the very first thing when you arrive as a business analyst in any company you know you the first thing you need to do is you need to have a user account created now in this example we are uh, we're trying to keep things generic so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have an hr setup user created we're going to log in as this user and perform all the setups so the first thing uh, we will do is we're going to set up the hr user but normally what happens is that the DBAs or the sysadmin is going to create the user uh, for the business analysts and that's what they're going to use uh, for uh, you know, setting up all the features. So in this case, our uh, user that we're going to create is going to be called HR Setup. So let's uh, get started and create the, the user that we will use for our uh, HRMS module setups. So for creating the user, let's say if you're logged in as, as a sysadmin or DBAs, whoever is uh, creating the user account for the business analyst. So we go into the system administrator, we go to security, uh, user, and then define. So here we are on the user uh, define screen. So you're going to call the user as HR setup. And uh, we'll assign a password. And we can leave all the fields null here. The, the, the password doesn't expire. The date is effective from today. It doesn't have a person, it's just a user. And what happens is that the sysadmin or the DBA is going to assign you uh, system administrative responsibility so that you, know, you can assign yourself any responsibility you want. So let's assign the system administrative responsibility. And since our a demo uh, implementation is right now for the US uh, legislation or US business group. Uh, let's assign this user a US Super HRMS manager responsibility. So once we assign these two responsibilities, so we should be able to log in as our HR setup and perform all the activities. So now let's uh, close this and let's uh, log out from this account. And let's try to log in as HR setup. Uh, as you know by now that if the first time when you log in, it's going to prompt you for changing your password. So let's change the password. So once we uh, change the password, we can log in and see the responsibilities that are assigned to this user account. Right now it says system administrator and the US Super HRMS manager. So we have these responsibilities. The application diagnostics came as a part of uh, the indirect responsibilities that comes from the roles. So once you do some, uh, you know, the basic um, 
you, you have the basic knowledge of the FND objects and the system administration in Oracle HR or in, in Oracle eBusiness Suite. So you should know that uh, what's a direct responsibility and what's an indirect responsibility. So these two, the system administrator and the US Super HRMS manager, are the responsibilities that are explicitly assigned to this user. So they are the direct responsibilities and this application diagnostics came from a grant or a role. So they are not explicitly assigned. They just uh, come from the roles. So they, these are, so this is the indirect responsibility. So now uh, let's not uh, spend too much time talking about responsibilities. Let's get back to our HRMS setups. So once we have our HR setup user logged in, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to create our responsibility, which is specific for uh, our demo corporation. So the, the demo corporation is a company for which we are uh, implementing this module. So the first thing we're going to do is instead of using any seeder responsibility, we're going to use, we're going to create a custom responsibility and we're going to use that responsibility to do all the setups. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create this responsibility, which is an exact replica of the US Super HRMS Manager. And we are just prefixing it with demo. We are using all the menus and functions of the US Super HRMS Manager. Um, so let's go ahead and create that. So this is the navigation path. Uh, system administrator, security, responsibility, define. So let's go back to the Oracle system administrator, security responsibility define. So here we are on the responsibility definition screen and this is where we're going to create the responsibility. So let's copy. Uh, let's, this is our this is our primary document based on which we are doing the setup. So you can you can do the same. you can just uh, this, this document will be posted on the website. so you can just uh, you know change the prefix with your own uh, initials and you know that you can just follow the entire every step of uh, this document and you can you should be able to uh, set up the, the entire core HRMS module for yourself. So let's create the responsibility. So this is the responsibility name. And the application is uh, human resources, of course. Uh, the responsibility key is our demo US SHRMS. Just try to give something meaningful so that you know uh, you understand what this has to be, you know, in sync with the responsibility name. So the more meaningful you, the key you give, it's easier for you. So well, let's keep the, the description blank. Now this section, which is called available from, it's, if you say Oracle applications, it's going to open from, because it has the form-based screens. So you have to make it available from the Oracle applications. If it is completely a browser-based application, like every screen on that opens as a browser, like the self-service modules, you can have it from the Oracle self-service web applications, as the term suggests. So the self-service modules, like the Oracle Employee Self-Service, uh, Manager Self-Service, iExpenses, so those are the, the self-service web applications modules. So when you create a custom responsibility for those kind of modules, you're going to make it um, the select uh, the available from as Oracle self-service web, app web applications. So for this, it's going to be Oracle applications. The data group is going to be standard. Again, the application is human resources. And the menu is is the menu of the US Super HRMS Manager responsibility. So let's copy this. So we will see, you know, where we got this from so you can better understand. You know, this is the menu and this is the request group. So once we do this, we'll actually check, you know, the, the US Super HRMS Manager responsibility so you, we will understand better. So let's save it now. So this responsibility has been created and now let's uh, take a look at the US Super HRMS Manager responsibility and what those fields are. So we go to the query mode, paste our value in here, execute query and see this is the menu 
a US SHRMS Navigator, and that's exactly what we are using here. US SHRMS Navigator. Same thing with the request group. The request group is nothing but uh, the group where all of the, the functions um, and, I mean, reports, the concurrent programs are attached. So we should be able to run all the reports that are part of the US Super HRMS Manager responsibility from our custom responsibility. So if we need to run any any concurrent process, we don't have to switch responsibility because we have all the reports and processes uh, within our responsibility so we can run it from our demo super HRMS manager responsibility. So we just just I was just trying to show you you know like how we got this information. So if you don't have this document, you can just open the US super HRMS manager responsibility copy all the, the important piece of information, that's the menu, that's gonna give you all the, the functions and the forms and the screens, uh, the same, all the same functions. So every, every piece of functions you will be able to get and the request group so that you can run all the reports and processes that are part of this seeded responsibility. So now let's, let's close this, let's go back to the document and see what we have there, what's our next step. So, so we have a screenshot of this responsibility that we just created. And you also see that, you know, that we, this responsibility will have all the menus and functions of the standard US HRMS manager responsibility. Uh, in order to have a different menu set, we will create our own menu if we have to create another responsibility where we don't want the users to have all the functions, we are going to create a separate responsibility. Uh, we will we will create that you know we will create uh, as a part of this whole tutorial we will create another responsibilities that the HR users are going to use and they will not be able to uh, set things up from that responsibilities like for example if they don't uh, if the the company decides to have a responsibility that the users are going to use so that they are not able uh, to create you know, like payrolls or elements or some of the setups that the business analysts are supposed to do, we can exclude those functions and then create a separate responsibility and assign that uh, responsibility to the regular user. And we'll have definitely a separate responsibility for our setups. So now, so we already have this responsibility created. We now need to assign this responsibility to our uh, HR setup user. So let's go ahead and do that. So security user define our user is HR setup. And the new responsibility that we just created is called demo US super retirement manager. So save it. And now let's go back to the document again. So what's so basically what, what we're going to do is we are going to use our custom responsibility for all the setups. So we need to make sure that the, the responsibility that we just created is able to perform all the, the actions that the business analysts need to perform. Now, once all these responsibilities and users are defined, those are the prerequisites for starting the setups. So it's time for us to do the key flex field setups. Now let's try to understand what key flex fields are. So it's a structure that must be defined before the business group in Oracle HRMS. Now, the reason being the business group, when you set up the business group in, in Oracle HR, you need to assign the, the flex field structures uh, for that business group at the business group uh, property or the business group definitions or the business group information level. So it's very important that you define all the key flex field structures before you can use them. So uh, the business group, as you know, is the highest point of the organization and all the flex field structures that would be uh, associated with that business group uh, so you're going to see the structures for jobs or the positions uh, based on that business group definition. So uh, at this point, we would assume that the, uh, the HR analyst has, you know, has done his or her requirement gathering 
and got the requirements of how the the job structures of the client looks like you know how many how they represent the jobs like let's say for example the client in some some place they have for their job they just say okay a job code is 100 the job name is say ceo in some other place they have you know the job is more explicitly defined like they define the the department they define the name and they also define you know the level uh, so most companies where they don't use uh, the positions or the grades uh, which is the case in our example so in most places you know the, what they're going to do is they're going to make the job uh, segments uh, more uh, i mean it, it covers a lot of information you know it's 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 it gives you a lot more information than just the job it gives you uh, it kind of covers some of the pieces of the position and the grades because they're not using those they would try to keep the job in such a way so that you can get the grade or the level um, of that employee from his job and you, and you will also get you know what department that employee belongs to from his job so these uh, this information actually comes when you sit with uh, the HR super users or whoever is the representative from the client that that gives you all these requirements and you also in the, in the process of uh, preparing your your you know your BR documents the setup documents so, so, so at this point you're actually in the process of you know preparing your documents you're ready with your structure that you're going to use for these different flex fields and that's when you come up and okay you say okay i got the flex field structures you know defined and this is what needs to be set up in oracle to uh, to match the client's requirements so there are uh, quite a few flex fields that that needs to be set up in, in oracle hrms especially when you define the business group you need to define these flex fields so the, the, the funny thing is that you now whether like some companies they don't uh, implement the, the complete Oracle HRMS module, but these flex fields which belong to the HR and the human resources application uh, needs to be uh, set up for the business group to be created. So whether you, you have HRMS module or not, you need to set these flex fields up in order to uh, implement your, 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 or you set up your business group because business group is required for for finance or any module that you try to set up so you need to set the business group up and for that you need to set these things the job flex fields the position flex fields the competence flex, uh, flex fields so let's uh, let's start uh, to look at the job flex field first so the job is one possible component of the employee's assignment uh, it's used to define the working roles performed by a company or uh, performed by the employees of the company and they are independent of organizations and can be shared amongst organizations. So basically what it means is that once you have your business group, like in, in, in our case, like the, the demo corporation US business group, let's say. So you define like 15, 20 jobs. So, and under the business group, you have different departments, which are the different organizations. So you define this 15 or 20 jobs and anybody belonging to any organizations within that business group can have a job defined within that business group now unlike jobs positions are specific to organizations so if you want to have uh, different positions defined uh, for different organizations you need to specify which position belongs to which organizations so uh, at this point uh, let's first we're going to start creating the value sets and if you have no idea about value sets please go ahead and um, take a look at the document and the videos for creating value sets so once we have the job flex field structure defined uh, we are going to define the value set that would be associated with each segment of the job so we will uh, end this tutorial at this point and in the next tutorial, we will start talking about the, the value sets for our job flex fields. So uh, till then, I really appreciate and thank you for your time. And we will come back with the next tutorial soon. Thanks. Bye.